Good evening, campers, and welcome back to RimWorld. I'm Commander Exorcist. This is the ongoing saga of the Land of Tribe, and I believe we have a little bit of a crisis. Rain, who we named after the wonderful water that drops from the sky and replenishes the crops, is actually running around setting everything on fire at the moment. Um, they've just freaking lost it. So hopefully Alpha is able to deal with things. We have a lot of crops that are ready to be harvested. And we have a lot of things that need to be done that I really, really want us to get working on. So we've got a couple of things that we're going to do. I'm going to keep the game running at normal speed for the moment so that it advances, but that I also can deal with some of these issues. Hey everybody, thanks for being with me today. I'm Commander Exorcist. If you enjoy chill playthroughs of games like RimWorld and others, this is your channel. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, tell me about your adventures on alien worlds in RimWorld. Alpa is doing his best, but we're running this slow because we're going to look at our work schedule. Uh, yes, in the middle of a crisis where everything is burning down, potentially, we're going to take a moment to fix some of the work issues. Now, um, Jace and so Jace has the highest rated food. Jace has officially become our cook. You probably can see where this is going. Okay, so everyone will do hauling, no warden, child care and bed rest so cook haul and cleaning that is going to be jace is officially our colony cook now that we have a couple of people here at the colony i think we're going to be able to specialize a few things now let's take a look at daniel daniel's a hunter so daniel's going to be our hunter that's right uh, we'll give him everything else so doctor he's got relevant medical skills so he's one of two rain is no good as a doctor so we'll leave those two since they have the relevant skills as a doctor so we're taking a look a little bit at our capabilities holy crap <laughs> we have an inferno going on here that everyone should be um everyone should be prioritizing but nobody Nobody's prioritizing it. It's just burning totally out of control. That's fine. Hopefully it'll rain here in a few minutes. We'll get lucky. Um, Ryoko is a hunter. So, all right, let's take a look at Violet. Violet's a little too young to, uh, everyone should be one, should be priority one bed rest. So that's a, that's a priority. We want everyone to be, um, to take care of themselves. Um, Violet should be one. Kasumi should be one. Alpha's currently one for mining. We need a researcher. Who's good at researching? Daniel's really good at researching, but he's also good at construction. So let's make Ryoko our construction person. Okay. There we got rain. The gods have answered our prayers. We have rain. I don't have to worry about it. Um, so Violet has a passion for that. Alpha's a quarry worker, so we're going to have him mine for the moment. We're going to remove all of his other Expectations. So if he's not mining, he needs to be researching. All right, cool. Daniel, he's an engineer. So give him uh, level two handling. Actually, uh, no, let's leave. Man, Jace can't do that, so. Let's leave Rain as the handler here. No warden skills. 
No child care, because we don't know anything about this person. Uh, so for Daniel, I'm torn, man. But, I mean... We need to use Daniel wisely. So, not for growing. He can do hunting. He can... I don't want him doing handling. What's his research skills? He's got awesome research skills. So he needs to be researching or constructing. Let's do that. So researching or constructing. Child care because he has a child. So the two people who have children get child care as their, uh, as kind of their thing. All right. So, and then Ryoko Ryoko, what can you do, girl? You're my construction girl. I'm trying to really narrow some of this stuff down. So Alpa needs to be the only one doing mining, so let's look at it from this perspective. Everybody does bed rest. They do child care. Everybody does basic, except for the children. Basic level two, except the children, they're level one. Nobody is a warden because we don't have any prisoners. Daniel is an engineer. So, um, handling. Cook. We've got one cook at the moment. Um, hunting. Really going to make that low priority for them. Construction. Number one for Daniel and Ryoko. They are our builders. Our grower is Maya. Who will also be our plant cutter. Smithing is done by uh, by rain. Tailoring is done by rain. Kind of general purpose work. No research. Although I don't know, they got pretty high research capability. And six. Let's speed it up a little bit. Okay. So we are underway researching. Our current research is machinist. Now hopefully that will fix some of the other, some of the overlapping issues that we've had with assignments and the like. So and then I also want to see, let's see what the deal is with these things. visitors who we got a group from the Bila Union are are visiting us I wonder if they want to trade holy crap they almost got struck by lightning <laughs> this is crazy okay and let's see here looking good looking good so we've got some things worked where's he going he's going to eat right Chase is going to eat. Okay, good. I was hoping he wasn't taking that somewhere to put it. Our generators are out of wood, so who's doing the hauling? Animals. So maybe everybody needs to be doing plant cutting. Okay, so we'll leave those all at three. 
so we got a little bit of power not much about a day and day or so somebody mining I thought I heard somebody mining something or cutting something oh Ryoko's doing work doing construction work excellent Okay, so it looks like things are actually moving along at this point. That is so welcome. So we're just waiting on the goods to be brought for the geothermal generator. Our visitors from the Bile Union are leaving. That's okay. Surprised there's any roof left on that thing, but there sure is. Got a lot of steel, a lot of uh, a lot of resources around here. Again, with our orders to deconstruct. Oh, we don't want to. We don't want to do that. I want to cancel that. because they'll end up breaking the power conduits or something. We'll leave it as it is for now. Alpha out, out there doing the mining. Still haven't figured out why my shelving is not... is not holding food. I mean, it's critical. Everything's allowed. Unless that one, that was it. A single checkbox. So, ladies and gentlemen, your host is an idiot. Actually, it's the land of tribe that were idiots. They didn't click that button. <laughs> now we will start to see our food be harvested and delivered and stored in the shelves like it should be here at the castle. Good job, Alpa. I'm not sure we're going to find compacted machinery like we need but we will find we're certainly finding plenty of steel so we're not going to be wanting for steel at all is there anything around here that has compacted machinery that's steel How about up here slates it's all slate we got plenty of fires this has just been a Crazy, crazy episode filled with fire. And I'm filtering around looking for more compacted machinery. Oh, we have a trade caravan. Nice. So, is anybody awake? Anybody of authority awake? Um, Daniel, are you sleeping or are you up? All right, Daniel, come out here. Daniel. Who's the leader here? There we go. Let's trade with Lisa. See if we can purchase some components. All right. Oh, okay. I don't want to sell them. Um, how many do I have? Oh, well, they're not, they're not willing to trade with us. Oh, they want to sell us things. Okay. So that's who they are. Tech print. Ooh. Eh, we don't have enough money to buy that, though. Okay, never mind. Thank you for, thank you for stopping by the castle. Let 
Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to take you up on any of your offers. But that's okay. We're getting a lot of construction done over here. Thanks to Ryoko. I think a little bit of the change is, is, is playing out. So having Jace dedicated to, uh, to dealing with uh, food, that's a good thing. Now, I thought that... Hmm. Violet. Is Violet armed? I know that's a weird thing to say. <laughs> Is she armed? She's... Can I use her to... Let's see, gear. Oh, wait. Maybe I should buy... Um... Who's up? Who's up? Who's awake? Anybody awake that's... That's not Kasumi? Ryoko, where are you? So come over here for a minute, Ryoko. Trade with Lisa. So let's buy some guns. I think we've got, a, we've got enough money. We might be able to buy a gun or two. Because that's one of the issues we're having is that we've got people without... Oh, they're not willing to sell us guns, are they? Doomsday rocket launcher? Hell yeah. Still can't afford it. <laughs> okay. All right, never mind. We're done with that tribe. Let's let them go. It's pretty impressive, though. That That's, that's pretty impressive. And Violet is out there making blocks for us, so that's good. So she's crafting. Or is... Yeah, so that should be crafting. Very low, but she's a child, so she's learning. She'll be master at this. By the time she's an adult, she'll be cranking those things out like it's nobody's business. And the cool thing is that she breaks out those blocks Ryoko can finally finish the front porch to the uh, to the castle which is starting to look really nice <laughs> so one of the questions that I've been asked and something that I've been thinking about personally is how long do we go how long will the land of tribe continue in its current state so what I've decided is that we're gonna get the the tribe into their new home at a minimum so uh, we may continue on even past that but my ultimate goal is to make sure that we we definitely get them into their new home uh, so that we can you know kind of claim victory on our growth from a small wandering tribe of survivors to um, kings and queens <laughs> in a palace yeah, because we really have come far. I mean, look at look at what we've what we've done so far. And yes, I know it has taken a very long time, and that is just kind of what we do. That's what the Land of Tribe does. They they kind of mess everything up, and we're lucky they haven't killed their, each other at this point. It's really fortunate um, that we are in as good a shape as we are. got plenty of resources here we're out of wood rain is hauling though so that's the thing they're hauling is there anyone else that could potentially help will oh okay so let's make that a two for violet I don't necessarily want to waste Violet on hauling if I can help it because desperately need her to be cranking out blocks and doing things that help with the support the construction efforts. But still, um, it's nice to see that we're starting to get our food harvest harvested though. And 
Alpha is over there. Alpha has almost completely mined that section out. And, I mean, there's a roof here, but I'm surprised that it has not completely just collapsed at this point. It's really, it's a little bit nerve-wracking because I don't want Alpha, I don't want anything to happen to Alpha. Al Pacino's been with us since day one. I mean, he wasn't originally a part of the tribe, and he crashed in a in an escape pod. So he came here. Oh, you can see the sunlight coming through the walls of this cave as he's chipping away at the outside of it. Oh, be careful, Alpa. Be careful, buddy. Yeah. Major, major roof collapse there. Now, hopefully he'll be smart about this, which I doubt he will be, and start mining from the outside. So the jade was crushed as the roof collapsed, but that's okay. We've got... Man, we've got to get down there and get that stuff re refilled. Oh, no. Alpa, <laughs> it's not a good idea to be in there, buddy. So let's do... Let's do this. Let's cancel all of that. And we're going to do it safely. So we'll have him work his way in. So I'm going to force Alpa... Oh, no. Everyone inside. Everyone inside. Pronto. Everyone inside. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Everyone inside, pronto. Not allowed. <laughs> mad monkeys. We're not fighting a pack of mad monkeys. Oh. Fuck that one up, too. It's like they know we're here. They know something's going on. Yeah, I know we're starving. It's always something. Always something. Man hunters. Turned off the, uh, finally turned that off. Come on, monkeys, go away. <laughs> Everyone's just kind of hiding in the cooler. This is really how we would do it, to be honest. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't encourage my tribe at this point to go out and fight these monkeys. Yeah, I know we're starving. Everyone's dying. When the reality is no one's really dying. Oh, 
There's our group <laughs> family photo. If you ever got a chance, we never got, we haven't really gotten a chance, but there's a family photo of everybody. What a waste of time this is. Yeah, I know you have a minor break risk. We're all hiding out in the closet in the cooler. Come on. Four days. Four days. We can't stay in here four days. Hmm. Should I come out and fight him? Okay. Oh, they're attacking that elephant. Oh, they're getting killed by that elephant. That was a mistake. Hey, that took them... How many did that take down? Got him. Okay. No, wait, what? No. No, Ryoko. Oh no, somebody save her. Oh, that's not cool. Go save her. Um... Come on. Come on. She can do it. Nobody's bleeding out yet. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Holy crap. That was, uh, that was not a good thing. That was frightening. So she's in bad shape. Take care of your wife there, buddy. Okay, so she's being healed up. She took a gunshot and a couple other things. Um... Wow, we don't have really anybody. Okay. Daniel's going to eat. Kasumi is sleeping on a chair in the uh, in the kitchen area. We haven't lost anybody. We came close. Uh, we've got some people that are seriously injured, but nobody is dead. And nobody is in danger of dying at the moment. And that... Boy, that's where we're going to stop today. What a close call with disaster here in the kitchen because of the, uh, of the crazy monkeys. 
but we avoided a catastrophe with an injured Ryoko. And we'll have to see what happens next time. Thanks for everybody. You guys, thanks everybody for hanging out with me. I'm all messed up. It's hard It's hard to focus on this at the moment. We almost lost my girl. Uh, whew. Let's, uh, let's call it a night. Thanks everybody for hanging out. I'm Commander Exorcist. Take care. Fly safe and I will see you out there. Good night, everybody.